Waffle fries, these little lovelies are so beautiful. They're probably hard to make, right? No. And then to begin, you'll need russet potatoes. This is optional, but uh, I like to keep the skins on. One gives a bit of contrast and texture. Two, my sleep schedule is all sorts of jacked up and I'm too lazy to peel these things. So we're gonna cut our potatoes into quarter inch slices with our fancy waffle potato cutter. So give a quarter an inch, press down. Remember, turn it 90 degrees, make a cut that's not as thick. And boom, perfect waffle fry. Remember, don't beat yourself up if they're not perfectly waffle-like. Ooh, like this one right here. Keep practicing until you get this down perfectly. Irony! And finally, let our waffle fries soak in cold water for about an hour. So our waffle fries are done soaking. And now we can begin the cooking process. Now, if you know me, you know I hate twice frying. Oil and gunk gets everywhere, it's not worth it. Normally, I'd use the microwave to cook the potatoes. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Four and a half minutes on high. After a quick nick in the microwave, we're ready for frying. I got here a Dutch oven filled halfway up with oil, and it's currently set to 375. Did your government sell its soul to China? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. And I have here our cooling rack lined baking sheet with paper towel. All right, once it comes up to temperature, drop our fries in. Cook until they're golden brown. Oh, and uh, monitor the temperature and make sure it stays around 375 because that creates a greasy floppy french fry. It's somebody's guilty pleasure. But not everybody's. All right, once they're lightly golden like this, take them out of the fryer, put it onto our sheet, and hit them with a quick sprinkle of salt. Now you know how to make your own homemade waffle fries without going to that one place. You know which place I'm talking about. Bruxy in Orange, California. Seriously, if you're ever in the area, definitely check that place out. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Yeah, oh man, I'm filming this episode in 4K. I'm hoping this thing can heat up in time. <laughs>